Now, over in Parliament, South Korea's political parties also had their respective responses to the latest development at the Inter Korean Joint Industrial Complex in Kaesong. Our senior parliamentary correspondent, Chi Myung Gil, is on the line. Myung Gil, tell us the latest reactions from Parliament. Right, Kan Young, the ruling Senate Party said Thursday that it respects the government's decision to close the Inter Korean Kaesong Industrial Complex, adding that North Korea had brought the current situation on itself. The ruling party said it was an inevitable measure, as the party has const constantly warned North Korea to end this vicious cycle of provocations. The ruling party said the responsibility for the closure of the joint industrial complex lies with the Kim Jong-un's regime. Concerning South Korean businesses, the ruling party called on the government to make utmost efforts to minimize the damages to the firms. Mengge, what about across the political aisle? What was the main opposition party's stance towards this? Yes, the main opposition Minju Party of Korea still kept a stance that Seoul's government should reconsider their decision to shut down the joint industrial complex. In a press release by spokesperson Kim Song Soo, he emphasized that North Korea's provocations will only exacerbate security threats in Northeast Asia and urged Pyongyang to refrain from such provocations. The party also said people who work there have been saying the complex was a miraculous place that had the potential to expedite Korean reunification, and closing the complex will derail the South Korean government's achieve achievements until now. The party is also concerned that such measures will eventually lead to the complex's permanent closure. In addition, the minor opposition People's Party is also against the shutdown, which it said is akin to the country choosing to self-sanction itself because it won't have any effect on North Korea and will only hurt the South Korean companies with factories in the complex. This has been Jim reporting from the National Assembly.